Hello everyone. In this video, I want to help those of you whose Macs are acting strange. And this is a free fix. And your problems may be that your drives are not appearing, you're having Bluetooth problems, your fans are running too much or too loud, your battery is not charging all the way, or your Mac is just too slow or you have computer slowdown. This free fix is not just restarting your Mac or MacBook. Hardware issues require hardware resets. And so what we are going to reset is the PRAM or the PRAM and the SCM. I'll explain those in a minute. Now before you do anything, make sure to back up anything important, any important files, anything that you're afraid and you don't want to lose. Make sure to back those things up. You should back those things up naturally because you never know what could happen with your computer. Also you want to disconnect anything that's plugged into your computer other than your power cord or monitor. So if you have any speakers or you have an external mouse or anything like that that you don't need to be using to do this, you want to unplug those things. So first we're going to talk about resetting the PRAM. The PRAM stands for Parameter RAM and it controls the function of things like your virtual memory, your RAM disk, your disk cache, and other core things in your computer. And here's how to reset your PRAM. The first thing you do is you shut down your computer. Don't just put it to sleep or log out. Next, you press the power button and then press Command, Option, P, and R. You hold all those keys down together and you must press those keys before the gray startup screen appears. So here's a visual display of what the keys look like that you will be holding down. You will hold down these keys before the gray startup screen appears. Hold those keys down until your Mac reboots again and you hear the startup chime. Let go of the keys and let your Mac reboot you've just reset your PRAM. When you log back in you may need to readjust some of your settings like your mouse speed or your double click speed. This is good it means that the PRAM reset worked. Now the next part of this is resetting the system management controller or the SMC and this is really important in fact a lot of people think that this is more important than resetting the PRAM however it makes sense to do both if your Mac is acting really strange. The system management controller is for Intel based Macs and it stores, manages, and controls many key items in your computer. Items like your fan, your lights, the power, the system performance. For example, if your fans are running nonstop or your system seems overly stressed, you may need to reset the SMC. If you have a MacBook with a removable battery, here are the steps. You shut down your computer, you disconnect the MacSafe plug from the laptop, remove the battery, press the power button for 5 seconds, and release. Put the battery back in and reconnect the cord. Then turn your computer back on. That's it. Next, let's talk about what to do if you have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air where you cannot remove the battery. Turn off the machine, keep the cord plugged in, Press at the same time Shift, Option, Control, and Power. Let go. Turn your machine back on. And you just reset the SMC. Last, if you have a Mac Mini, Mac Pro, iMac, or another Mac that I have not mentioned, here's what you do. You shut your machine down, unplug the power cord, press and hold the power button for 5 seconds, Plug it back in and turn it on. That's pretty easy, right? Now as always, back your stuff up. I can't be held responsible if you lose your files or anything like that. If something doesn't go right. However, I've been doing this for years without any issues. It's a good idea to back up anyway, just in case something happens to your files. I recommend online cloud services like Dropbox, SugarSync, or other services. If you have any other questions, you can always just inbox me or email me at my website. My website is duplicatefilesoftware.com. 
If you need to remove duplicate files on your Mac, or if you have a really big music or photo library, then I really recommend a specific piece of software that I use myself to clean out all the junk. So if you have any other Mac issues or questions, I also cover those on my website. And I specialize in duplicate file software. So if you have any questions regarding that, or you have any questions regarding the PRAM or SMC, let me know. And I hope that this video has helped you, and I hope that this video solves your Mac strange performance problems.